And we let one slip away. I had a bad game. I'm coming out to let the world know, hey, I'm the best player in the league. And look, like you said, Ernie, he outscored the Minnesota Timberwolves by himself in the first quarter. But this is what superstars do. I grew up watching Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley and Akeem Olajuwon and David Robinson and Magic Johnson and Isaiah Thomas. This is what superstars do in, in big moments in that first half. Luka said, follow me, Mavericks. Yeah, Luka took it on himself after game four, too. So I didn't have the energy. I didn't lead us the way we should. And he's taken care of that here in game five. Well, you asked me before the game, but I, I said, if anyone, you, you have to trust Luka. And I thought he could have a big game tonight. But it's also about strategy. Because, yes, as good as Luka is, you cannot let him play one-on-one. -on -one. Rudy doesn't hold a screen there. And now he's already the flamethrower, and he's already kind of moving in the direction of being ultra aggressive. Freeze it here. There's no help. You don't have you have eyes on Luca, but look at the body language. They're not coming to help. So if you're a superstar, a great scorer, you understand that all you have to do is get your space. So to me, the strategy changed. And I said before the game, Luca walks into the gym and says, I know what I'm looking for if I'm going to be great. Kyrie walks in the gym and says, I know what I'm looking for if I'm going to be great. Great. What about and, Anthony Anderson the... is learning? I mean, Anthony Edwards is learning. And then also now. Did you hear those other guys talking about all the adjustments that they made? Well, the, they didn't, the adjustment that they didn't make, they didn't double these guys. Yeah, but they let the best one on one no, players you, play one on one in the yeah, first. But I was just Keep laughing. Keep it close. Like, I was just laughing watching. I'm like, they didn't make no adjustments. Please stop. But I, I got I to say this that was embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for these Minnesota fans. You go down there and you win that game, it don't get swept. These people think like, uh-oh, we might have a series. And like I say, I told you I'd be shocked if the Mavs won this game. I'm way past shocked the way they're winning the game. Minnesota I thought, play with no sense of desperation. No, no sense all. of desperation, and they have packed it in right now, Ernie. You, As a player, Ken and Shaq know, when, you, when it's an elimination game, you're flying all over the place. The Mavs are flying all the place like, like they're trying to get this thing over. Uh, I, I am kind of, I'm at a loss of words how bad Minnesota looked that first half. By the way, the largest halftime deficit ever overcome by a team facing elimination uh, in the shot clock era. 16 by the Nuggets uh, in 2020. That was in the bubble against the Clippers when they came back. But this is a 29-point game. And... Luca and Kyrie, who combined for 44 in game four in that loss, have combined for 44 in the first half. I was with you, though, Chris. That's okay.